We uh, took a couple very interesting steps. We just announced that we're actually deploying full systems now under a power purchase agreement. Our first announcement was in Hawaii. So those projects in Hawaii are so valuable to us because we, again, we produce systems that can solve all the problems behind the meter and also respond to any request that the utility makes. So Hawaii is kind of the canary in the coal mine for very high penetration renewables. They're having trouble running their grid. They've stopped giving interconnect agreements to solar, even though solar's a lot cheaper than the electricity they provide. So it's the absolute ultimate place. So we, we uh, have also announced some hybrid battery systems where we've said, okay, to get the fastest ROI and satisfy all of the things the building owner wants and all of the things the utility wants, we are going to use a combination of flow batteries and lithium ion batteries operating as a team behind the meter. Again, this is, this is starting with the customer's request in mind and the ROI model in mind first, and then architecting a system to do that second. And that's how ZBB approaches the world. So what you'll see us doing in Hawaii is phase one, PPAs to make buildings, profit centers and energy producers, then we will be networking these buildings so that Hawaiian Electric can basically say, hey, if I have a hundred buildings with ZBB systems, I want to be able to operate those as a fleet to stabilize my grid and have distributed capacity out in the grid. We're seeing the same thing. Uh, we have a joint venture in China, I mentioned. China, very different situation. They have to deploy massive amounts of, of renewable energy to offset their polluting. They have local air pollution issues which are driving their uh, deployments. In that case, they have very large amounts of storage that are required. We think that'll be the largest market in the world in terms of dollars and megawatt hours. But there you're talking about just trying to overall stabilize the grid. So our joint venture there this year is focused on getting state grid final approval on all of our products and ramping up. China's talking about ordering something in the neighborhood of $40 billion of batteries between now and the end of 2020. So the numbers are staggering. Um, so obviously that's a big project for us is to get that final, final sign off because in China, unless you have state grid sign off, you're not gonna deploy large scales of storage in, in China. Um, okay. I, I think I'll expand a little bit on the, the way we see the market developing. Um, again, we, we purposely became a system supplier of storage. ZBB used to be just a zinc bromide battery flow battery company. That's the, our name. ZBB stands for zinc bromide battery. The real interesting part of this entire storage deployment is when you've got this seamless integration of distributed smart storage with the utilities interacting. So ZBB, we decided we acquired a power electronics company. We working with other batteries, as I mentioned. You need to be able to have a total solution that's modular. Every building's different. Every rate structure's different. Every ROI I model's different. So what we did is we have, I call it a Lego set, right? So we can go in any building and ask the owner, what do you want to do here? What do you get paid for? Um, what sizings are right? How are we going to architect a system for you? And then we made it seamless enough so that that system could serve all the building needs, but if there's a demand response request, we now call that supply response. Because as you know, demand response says, okay, I'm going to send you a signal and you're going to shed loads. So electricity is the most convenient energy carrier known to mankind, and you're now telling them in a, quote, smart grid that we want you to shed loads in a time of need. That's not a smart grid. That's a dumb grid. The new world is one where storage and energy is all going to be integrated seamlessly. Uh, again, we call it supply response because the grid can call up any number of these buildings and say, hey, you know what? I need X megawatt hours right now for the next four hours. Please export energy to the grid. 
some days that building might be importing, some might be exporting. You're going to end up with spot market pricing for electricity through a distributed smart grid like that. All of those, the other thing ZBB is working on is all of those units can be secure, wireless, and in the network to the security level that the utility wants, right? So that's what, when we get to that day, it's going to be exciting. It's, it reminds me of how the internet started, where people first said, oh, wouldn't it be great if I could send an email across the street? And then a few years later, you've got the internet. The other thing is you hear people talk about the internet of things. Well, all the power in a building and all the assets that are tied to that, whether they're, distrib whether they're storing electricity, generating electricity, or using electricity, will be running through systems like ours. So it becomes exciting to start saying, I can forecast usage, generation, I can forecast other events, I can now, obviously the utility basically can utilize that in a smart way. And the whole thing, if, if there's an outage or a hurricane hits, you don't have buildings off the grid, or you, ha you might have them off the grid, but they're still running because they have stored energy in the building. So I think that's what's going to be really fascinating to watch. That's what we, you know, that's what we get up and love every day about what we do is, is we're going to bring that change uh, to the market. And I, I think that's, uh, every time I've been through one of these big changes, it tends to happen faster than most people forecast. Mm. This one will be a little slower because you've got massive infrastructure and huge utilities, and it's a, obviously a critical uh, component. Electricity supply is not something you can go dabble with. If people didn't have internet for five minutes, you know, they didn't mind. But if they don't have electricity for five minutes, everybody's going to hear about it. So, but it's an exciting change for the whole globe.